G'day, it's Mark here at Vanessa Mobile Camping. It's the last day of 2018 for us and we've had uh, a fantastic year. So many camper vans have been built this year, particularly uh, T5 and T6 multivans. We've had the last one come in today from the uh, Hunter Valley. Let's go and take a look and see what we've got. As you can see, it's a T6 multivan, Indian grey. Absolutely standard vehicle except for the uh, metallic paint. But, uh, come on through, have a look. Got 16 inch wheels. And let's see what we've achieved today. We've achieved installation of the Tula roof racks. We're using the 135mm wing bars. Whisper Quiet, the new design with the tapered edge at the rear. So they've got the tapered edge at the rear. This is with the uh, uh, 135 millimeter uh, powder coat matte black, which looks particularly good and fits nicely with the uh, with the awning. We'll have a look on the other side. In the last couple of hours, in addition to the roof racks, we've installed the rear kitchen system. We've put in the deluxe comfort mattress. We've put in the rear pack bags, the kitchen system as well. We have fitted uh, with the uh, shower attachment. So we have the shower attachment here, safely tucked into the kitchen. We've installed the cooker into the into the bottom drawer. We've uh, checked and verified that the fridge is operational. And we've put the IKEA grill pan in here as well, and we've applied our Made in Germany sticker here as well today. Also, we can see in this vehicle, if you look on the inside, you might just notice here we've put in some of the new multivan curtains. So we're going to take a closer look at those inside. Uh, once we uh, once we open the side doors, but while we're at the back here You can see we've also installed these multi-van curtains at the back. So I'm going to open up this one here Okay, we can see that this easily slides across And then just clips in to the base to provide Some very nice light security here. So I'll close that up and then as we close up the multi-van tailgate, we shall see... Actually, we've also popped into this particular vehicle our tailgate latch. So why don't we pop it into camping mode, lower the tailgate. Oops, we've also done our trick with the latch. There we go. And we can see that's totally blacked out here. You can't see into the vehicle at all. Let's go and take a look uh, further around the vehicle and onto the inside. You can see here as well we've installed today the uh, Dometic awning. So this is a wind-out cassette awning. It comes out 2.0 uh, metres and it's 2.6 metres long. And you can see we've placed it very particularly on the van such that it has a very nice aesthetic appeal as well. We can just see through the windows here these curtain outlines. Let's take a closer look inside. On the inside here, we can see that um, we've installed the Dometic awning uh, bracket just behind the seats here using the original clips. So they're just mounted here and the Dometic awning uh, wand fits perfectly as we can see here behind, behind the seat. We're also supplying the uh, thermomats for the front, the Valde tent, the side mosquito net, and the uh, the front uh, the front driver's nest. Let's have a look here at the curtains on the sliding door. Uh, we can see that they're mounted up to the top plastic trim in the multi van and into the lower uh, trim here on the multi van. But we do it in such a way that, of course, the windows still operate. And also, if we choose whilst driving, perhaps to operate uh, to operate the uh, the net here and that will just pop up into there and that will hold up nicely. So even if we're driving want some sun protection for the kids for example or the rear passengers we can still have that and the curtains open. But to close the, open and close the curtains there's a couple of uh, press studs here that we've installed. We'll do that on this side as well. There's no press stud down here because this is where the locking mechanism is and uh, in Europe they don't necessarily have uh, a door on this particular side. 
but we do. We have twin sliding door vans in Australia, so we haven't put that press stub mechanism in there so as not to foul the lock. But nonetheless, uh, we still get excellent uh, security from light, so that it doesn't wake us up in the morning, the light, and uh, absolutely no way to look in. We also installed for the summer uh, an arc pack uh, auxiliary battery system. We just have a look over the seat here. We just look over the back here. We can see that the arc pack is uh, nicely tucked in just behind the triple seat and the head of the kitchen. And the arc pack has the inverter, the USB, the double 12 volt ports, the Anderson plug on the side for a regulated solar panel. And we can check here that it's uh, charging or discharging. Uh, also has a 240 volt charger as well. If we have a look here in the back, it's going to make the bed. And we can see this looks pretty cosy in here. We've got the blinds now drawn in the back. Uh, the tailgate is open slightly. You can maybe just discern a tiny bit of light coming through the side there because we're still in daytime conditions. But um, uh, we've got the ventilation latch at the back. We also have the pack bags in the side. Which, uh, which you may have seen on some, of the, on some of the previous videos. Well, that's it in a nutshell. Thank you for watching our videos in 2018, and we look forward to seeing you in 2019.